Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. As you can tell by the title of this video, this is going to be a closet tour and also just kind of explaining how I organize my closet. Now this has been a very long awaited video. I was requested to do this video years ago. I'll be honest, I kind of kept forgetting to do this video and then every time I remembered I was in the process or in at least in the thinking stages of wanting to like redo my closet and declutter everything and all that sort of stuff. So I did recently within the last few months declutter this whole closet and even did some stuff last night. And for right now our closet is finished so I thought this would be the perfect time to finally do this video for you guys. I apologize this isn't like the best view but Honestly, it, our closet is a little bit of a walk-in closet, but it's a smaller walk-in closet, so there really wasn't any great place to place my camera and lighting. So I'll try to like, you know, zoom in and zoom out and kind of pan up and down in our closet just so you guys can um, see everything. But yeah, this is really the best that I could do. So yeah, that's basically it. We're just gonna go ahead and get right on into this video. So if you would like to see a tour of my closet and then also hear how I personally organize my closet, then just keep on watching. So yeah, here is a look of our closet when you first walk in or open the door. It does have a regular door on it, as you can see over here, and then it, the light switch to the light in the closet is over here. So in this closet, we do have some shelving. We do have a shelf right here and then a full shelf that lines up there, as you can see. We don't have anything up here on this shelf, like over on this side, but we do have some stuff over here. Just We just use that basically for storage. And I actually went ahead and organized those shelves last night just to make room uh, for more storage because if you guys didn't know, I am kind of in the process, slowly in the process of moving from my mom's house into my fiance's house, which is where we are right now. And I noticed quickly, slowly moving my stuff in here, that we were running out of room. So that's really why I wanted to like declutter and organize basically the whole apartment, including this closet. So yeah, even though there's nothing on those shelves right now, I wanted to open them up on purpose. Just so when I do get all of my stuff in here, if I need somewhere to put something for storage, something that I don't really need to get to all that often, then it can go up there. So yeah, we do have some storage like boxes up and on this side of the shelf and then on this shelf we have some of Luke's pants which you can see right there and then that's basically all of his shelf like he has like his deodorant cologne his hats lotions all that sort of stuff so yeah that's basically all of Luke's things on that shelf and then obviously as you can see here we have some clothes and then there's also some clothes on the bottom which I will do a pan downward so you can see um more towards the bottom of the closet. But anyways, so all right here are all of Luke's clothes. Oh, and since we were on the topic of shelves, there is actually another shelf under here, which you can't really see because Luke's clothes are blocking that. Uh, but we don't really keep anything on that shelf, mainly because Luke's clothes are in the way. But we do have like a file, a little like file um, folder back there, just full of like Luke's personal things. So yeah, there is a shelf under there, even though you can't see it. So anyways, this is all of Luke's clothes right here, mainly all of his like shirts and sweatshirts and things like that. And then along this side of the closet, these are all of my clothes, or at least a majority of my clothes. And then the rest of my clothes are down here. Now, if you can kind of see from this frame, you can see that we are definitely using up basically every square inch of this closet. And I will admit it does look kind of cluttered just because of all of Luke's clothes and then all of my clothes. I will admit it is mainly my fault because I have way more clothes than he does. So yeah, when all of our clothes are in this closet, it does look a little bit cluttered, but that's why I also wanted to make this video because if you yourself also have a smaller closet, whether it's just a closet that you have only your stuff in there or if it's a closet you're sharing, then I wanted to share some of my organization tips with you, how I organize this closet and how I make it uh, very user friendly for not only me, but also for my fiance. All right, so panning down to more on 
the bottom of the closet. Right here is just one of my robes. I just always hang my robe on that door handle. Over here, we just keep some bags. So we have some backpacks and then just little travel bags. I just like to keep those for easy access, uh, especially for me because I always like to go to my sister's house. And usually when I go to my sister's house, I'll stay a couple nights. So I just like to keep those bags handy. And then down here, mainly in this back corner, since that corner is the hardest to get to, I put clothes back there that I'm not reaching for as often. So for example, dresses, like more fancier dresses that you would wear to weddings. Um, I have some like Halloween costumes back there and my graduation cap and gown back there. And then I also do have more like professional clothing that I really wouldn't wear on a regular basis. I mainly just wear those for like interviews or when I was in school, I would wear them for presentations, things like that. So that's everything that's like in the back corner on the bottom. And then right here, I do have some tank tops and I, oh, I also have some scarves as well back there. And then in the front right here, that is where I keep all of my pants. So my jeans, yoga pants, things like that. And then down here in this corner, the only thing we have back here is a laundry basket, obviously what we use for laundry. And then the only thing that we have over here are just extra hangers. And then I also have some of my belts hanging there as well. So yeah, here is what our closet looks like. I'll probably take my camera off the tripod just so I can like get you guys in there so you can see what the shelves look like and basically what our closet looks like if you yourself were to walk into it. So that's kind of a tour of our closet. Now I'm going to go ahead and get into my organization, how I organized our closet, especially once I moved all of my clothes into this closet with Luke's clothes and his other stuff. Now, even though this is a pretty small walk-in closet, I really do like how it's organized. I like how it has a bar up here right here and then also down here. So it gives you a few different options. So because I had a few different options of where to hang things, one of the things that I knew what I wanted to do was keep my clothes separate from my fiance's clothes. The only reason I wanted to do that is because I knew that I had a ton of clothes. I had more clothes than he did. So there's no way I wanted to fit all of our clothes onto one of those bars. Obviously, because if I were to do that, that would make things so cramped and that would be so difficult for either of us to get clothes down or hang clothes back up. Now, when my fiance first moved in and I wasn't living with him, he has always had his clothes hanged or hung, sorry, I don't know English, <laughs> on this bar. And I knew I wanted to keep his clothes on that bar be for the obvious reason. He is taller than I am. I'm only 4'8 and he is exactly six foot. So I knew for sure I wanted to keep his clothes on this bar because that would make no sense to move his clothes onto this bar and especially this bar because why would I make him like scrunch down and bend over to get a shirt out when I'm the short one so I should take uh, either of these bars. Of course, I ended up taking both of them. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, I ended up keeping his clothes up here. And originally, when I was first moving all my clothes in here, I tried to put everything down on this bottom bar uh, down here. But I quickly learned that all of my stuff was not going to fit. And not only was everything not going to fit, I was a little nervous because I had so many clothes. I was just really nervous. I didn't want one of those bars to break because you could just hear when I was hanging all my stuff up, like the bar was like creaking. It wasn't like bending or anything like that. Like the, these bars are obviously a lot stronger than that, but I just kept hearing them like creak, creak, creak the more clothes that I hung on them. So I was like, okay, this is not going to work. I'm gonna have to separate my clothes out. 
but how was I going to do that? So basically how I organized all my clothes is I put them in different categories. I put all of my shirts and tank tops in one category. I put all of my sweatshirts in one category, my pants, my dresses, and things like that. And that's kind of how I decided where things were going to go. Now, after I separated all of my clothes out into those uh, separate categories, I then decided where I was going to hang what. Now I knew since I had so many clothes that I was going to be taking over this bar up here and this bar down here. So it was just a matter of separating those categories or putting those categories on which bar. So I settled on this bar as the bar that I was going to hang like my shirts or my clothing that I was going to be using on a regular basis just because I feel like this bar was at like the perfect height. It's obviously a little bit taller than I am but it's at the perfect height for like hanging clothes up and taking clothes down and obviously my shirts I'm going to be wearing one of them at least every single day so I just thought that was the perfect place to hang my clothes. It's easy access. Now I was a little bit worried since my clothes do kind of hang over a little bit. I was worried that it was going to be really cramped but over time we've really gotten used to it and they really aren't in a way in the way that much so yeah that's where I ended up putting all of my shirts and I actually ended up putting all of my sweatshirts up there as well and I decided on that because at least in the winter time I wear my sweatshirts and you know my uh, heavier clothing more on a regular basis so for that reason I decided to just put them with my shirts and like my Disney tank tops and things like that now I'm just going to pan you guys down a little bit just so you can see some of the clothing that I have on the bottom bar. Now another easy choice was putting the clothing that I do not wear as often in the back, which I kind of already explained. Everything that I have in the back are like my fancier dresses, my more professional clothing, Halloween costumes, my cap and gown. Obviously those I'm not going to be wearing that much, so I put all of those in the back. Now the order I put them in was obviously I put my Halloween costume and my cap and gown in the way way back because I know I'm more than likely never going to wear them again or at, for, at least for the Halloween costumes I'm only going to be wearing them once a year. So those went in the all the way back. Next went my fancier dresses because I don't really go to a ton of weddings so I just assumed that maybe once or twice a year I would need to get to those dresses but really not all that often. So those are the clothes that I went next. Then the next thing I did is I put my more professional clothing because obviously compared to my costumes and my fancier dresses, I wear my professional clothing more often than those. So I put those a little bit more closer to the front. Then after my professional clothing, I went ahead and put my scarves. I don't really wear scarves all that often, but the only reason I put them after my like more professional clothing is because in the winter time I wear my scarves a lot more. So that's why I put my scarves next and then I went ahead and put my tank tops and then my pants because my tank tops and my pants are the clothing that I wear the most often. But to not totally crammed this bar up here, I decided to put my pants and my tank tops on that bottom bar. And as you can see, that's where all my clothes stopped, which was perfect because then that opened up room to put all of our extra hangers and also my belts on this part of the bar. And then that also opened up room to put our bags, travel bags and backpacks down here without them, you know, getting scrunched or without them like scrunching up my clothes and causing wrinkles in my clothes. So yeah, that's kind of how I organized my clothes. A couple other things that I want to mention that have really helped with my organization are specific hangers that I use for my scarves, my tank tops, and for my pants. So the first hanger is this one right here, which you can obviously is what I keep my scarves on. I do not remember where this is from. A lot of these hangers that I'm going to be showing you guys are gifts. So I apologize. I don't know like specifically where they're from, but I'm sure you could definitely look on Amazon or check your local store uh, for these type of organizational hangers. As you can see, this hanger just has a bunch of holes in it, which makes it really easy to put your scarves and to store them nicely. And by keeping all your scarves on one hanger, it really saves up room in your closet. Or you can even save up room in your drawers if you're someone that keeps your scarves um, in one of your dresser drawers. That's actually something that I used to do. I used to keep them in a drawer, but I noticed that my dresser drawers were really starting to become crammed. So that's when my mom found this hanger and she got it for me. And so I just put all my scarves on here, put it in my closet, and it saved room not only in my dresser drawers, but also in my closet. 
The next hanger that I have is this one right here. As you can see, this is a hanger that is specifically for tank tops. I'll turn it backwards so you just can see it a little bit better. So this hanger, as you can see, has four different um, like two-piece hangers on both, both sides, which makes it really convenient to hang your tank tops up. So I actually have two of these hangers and each hanger holds eight tank tops. And this was a great purchase. Again, it was a gift, so I'm not sure where it is from, but very similar to my scarves, I actually kept all of my uh, tank tops in one of my dresser drawers, but my dresser drawer was starting to get really crowded and really cramped, so my mom ended up giving me uh, or getting me two of these tank top hangers so I was able to put my tank tops in my closet and once again it was able to save room in my dresser drawers and in my closet as well. And last but not least, the last hanger that I have to show you guys is this one right here. I actually have quite a bit of these, but I'm just showing you uh, one of them where that I have some of my pants hanging on. So here is what it looks like right here. This is like the perfect hanger if you are looking to organize your closet. So as you can see, here is kind of what the like side view looks like. It has five different uh, little holes that you can place hangers on. And then it also has two little hooks, one on the top and one on the bottom, just depending on how you wanna hang it up in your closet. I use this for my pants, I use it for my professional clothing, my dresses. But this is like one of my favorite um, hangers to organize my closet because it's basically like keeping multiple things on one hanger. So I kind of hope that makes sense, but like this is seriously my favorite thing for keeping my closet organized and for making more room in my closet. Like out of all of the like specific hanger um, things that I just showed you guys, this is the one that I definitely recommend if you're looking to organize or make room in your closet. Also another thing that I have in this closet, it's not really for like organizing my closet in any way, but I have one of these hanging in here and this is a damp red. My mom actually told me about this and she got me um, this one to hang in your closet and then also like a more like portable one you could just like put in any room in your house. But basically what these things do is they attract moisture so they're perfect for putting in basements or for our example living in a bottom floor apartment with all that like being more like underground and all that moisture in the air and it just basically smells like you know musty and just like really damp so yeah that's what these things do they kind of suck the moisture out of the air and you can see from this bag look at all of this moisture and water that this bag has um absorbed through the air and I have had this hanging in our closet for maybe a couple months maybe not even a couple months like that is insane and it literally it smells so much better in our apartment like you could just smell it in the air and feel it in the air like it just feels so much more like fresh so yeah definitely I mean you don't have to live in a bottom floor apartment or you don't have to put these just in basements but I definitely recommend these like these work so good and even the one that we have sitting in our living room has collected so much water that I already had to replace it but um yeah so I just have this hanging in our closet I definitely want to get more of these to hang in our other closets throughout the apartment just because I think they work so well and even just look at that like I just can't believe that all of that water was just in our air in our apartment like that's just insane to me so yeah i just have this hanging in um our closet as well all right everybody and that is it for my closet tour and my organization tips for organizing our closet i really hope you guys found this video helpful if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up i would really appreciate it if you have any more specific questions or comments for me and how I organize uh, further tips, not only for organizing closets, but just organizing in general, please make sure to leave those down in the comments. I definitely want to answer those for you guys if I did not answer um, any of your comments or questions in this video. So definitely leave those down in the comments down below. I hope you all are having a wonderful day and I will definitely see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.